The training program is aimed at equipping financial institutions with the practical knowledge and skills needed to enable them to increase financial access to agriculture and agribusiness organizations. Spearheaded by the Ghana Incentive-Based Risk System for Agriculture Lending, GESAL, with assistance from the National Banking College, it is also to build the capacities of bank staff and financial firms to appropriately appraise agricultural projects that require funding to reduce the issue of non-performing loans. Participants who will be drawn from banks and other financial institutions will be trained in commercial modules including introduction to agriculture and agribusiness, agribusiness appraisal techniques and managing agribusiness loan portfolio. Speaking at the launch in Accra, Second Deputy Governor of the Bank of Ghana, Elsie Adu Awaji, who admitted that the financial perception of Agri being a high-risk venture urged banks and other financial institutions to adopt strategic mechanisms to tackle the problem, given the enormous contribution of the agri sector to the country's gross domestic product. Madam Elsie Adu Awaji also announced that the central bank intends to set up a two billion enterprise credit scheme facility to assist SMEs and other agribusiness institutions in this regard. Let me mention that the Bank of Ghana has decided to set up a credit, an enterprise credit scheme, um, which we are hoping will go live somewhere towards the end of March. This is a scheme that's going to be funded from two percentage points of the primary reserves that are kept by banks with us. And at our current estimates, there's a pool of close to two billion Ghana cities that will be available that the Bank of Ghana would expect the banks to tap into to be able to lend to SMEs which would include agricultural businesses. This is something that we've announced since our November NPC last year, um, and we're working on modalities to make sure that this scheme is operationalized very soon. The director of Gestal underscored the need for his outfit to identify appraisal techniques and innovative financing models that will inure to the benefits of players in the agriculture and agribusiness value chain. We believe that the first thing to do with this part is for us to find ways to build capacities for banks to be able to assess their agricultural projects more effectively and to ensure that we also reduce the end levels. Now, guess what we have gone out on this one and said, well, why don't we go and reach out to these banks and then carry out training? But we felt there's a need to use existing institutions. One that problems we have to this kind of we don't want to use existing institutions in this country. Because guess how it's here to see it. Speaker after speaker, farmers raise concerns about the high interest rate of loans they acquire from local banks, a situation that is adversely affecting their operations. Beneficiaries will, at the end of the training, enhance their lending activities through lectures, case studies, videos, graphics and field visits with seasoned experts in finance and agriculture to enable them apply to the concepts of appraisal and analysis in the context of agricultural lending. The three or four days training will commence from a period between April and November.